We got more WikiLeaks now uncovering emails that point to a possible conflict of interest between the Clinton campaign and a top official of the Justice Department. Ed Henry's reading your emails again today. He's live in Washington. How you doing, Ed? Good to see you. Uh, all right, another day. It's 10:25 on the East Coast. What are you finding? Well, look, uh, the, uh, Huma Abedin's, uh, the investigation of her laptop and these new emails is obviously dominating uh, the political conversation. And part of that conversation is in previous WikiLeaks dumps, we've seen John Podesta just, you know, lauding and lauding an official at the Justice Department. You see him there, Peter Kadzik, uh, a deputy assistant attorney general. He's in charge of congressional affairs. So he's part of the group that had to inform Congress that the FBI was sort of reopening things. And John Podesta in a previous email said, he kept me out of jail once. He represented me. And so there's a tight alliance there. It just got tighter. A new email out in the last few moments. Uh, Kadzik to Podesta, May of 2015, giving him a, quote, heads up that there's an oversight hearing on the Hill today where the head of our civil division will testify, likely to get questions on State Department emails. He goes on to say the State Department just got another FOIA request, Freedom of Information. That's likely to come up in 2016. Okay, maybe this sounds like routine stuff, this heads up. But you know what? Kazik did not send it from his Justice Department email. He sent it from his Gmail to John Podesta's Gmail, as if this was offline and not going to be kept by public records. Why was this contact between Justice uh, which has been uh, obviously overseeing this FBI probe for months and months and months, even before the recent uh, events, connecting with John Podesta. Well, Interesting. It's going to drive all this, all this technology is going to drive us back to having one on one conversations yeah. again. Yeah. How do you tie all these various dumps together into a story? Look, I mean, today, today yeah. what, what would be the bottom line if you were to nail that? The bottom line is there was an email yesterday where John Podesta was talking about let's dump these let's dump this out there as quickly as possible let's dump it and some people thought he meant delete the campaign says he was talking about getting the emails out when the New York Times story broke. Okay, fine. That may have been what John Podesta was saying as campaign chairman. But look at the timeline. The opposite happened in terms of more disclosure. The story breaks in the New York Times that she used a private account. Podesta and Mook themselves have a conversation that night where Podesta says, did you know the full extent of this? Mook, no. As, in, as if the top guys were in the dark. March 4th, they reveal the private server by the Associated Press. Uh, and Podesta uh, basically says to Sheriff Carol Mills, should we hold back the emails between Clinton and the president? Then Clinton gets a subpoena that same day, March 4th, uh, from Trey Gowdy on the Hill. March 5th, Philippe Reines talks about the emailer in chief. Clinton is in a very good place. March 7th, the president says, I learned about this from news reports. Mills, Cheryl Mills says, well, maybe not. We need to clean this up. And Reines says, there is just no good answer in one email to this server issue. March 9th, they're debating whether she has a news conference on March 10th. And Reines says, we need to focus on, quote, dropping the bomb. He later explains in the email, dropping the bomb is revealing to the public for the first time. 33,000 emails have been deleted. March 10th, Hillary Clinton has that news conference. She says, this is all fine. I did this for convenience. There was no classified information on the server. A lot of that turns out to not be true. But then the bottom line, you ask, two weeks later, the FBI, according to their original report, says roughly about March 25th, after all this back and forth, bleach bit is used to wipe out the whole, you know, wipe out the server, basically, mm -hmm. and, and the emails. What was deleted, we simply don't know. And so you look at this March of, of 2015, that was the critical time, and a lot was happening. No question. Thank you, Ed. We'll be back with Good you. Okay.